You can put your own picture in a video and then make AI generated videos as simple as just uploading a single reference image. See, fine tuning video models are going to be one of the biggest things in 2025. A lot of different reasons, but primarily marketing and advertisements are one of the biggest industries where money just flows the cash flow is insane now if you can tell me that you can take a celebrity and put them in a video without them having to come to you then this is like the cash cow for all the marketing and advertisement companies now what i've done in this video particularly that you can see right now is i've taken sam altman's reference picture and then put him in a video where the video is just basically you know like an apocalyptic situation so the prompt that i gave is the lone survivor warrior surviving warrior hunting robots in uh, apocalypse. I, I just like struggle to say that uh, apocalypse. So now this is a new feature in uh, this famous Chinese company called Halo or popularly known as Minimax in the Western world. So this company already has text to image, image to video, text to video. And they recently launched something called subject reference, which means you can upload one picture. In this case, I uploaded this picture of Sam Altman and then I just gave a prompt and then it managed to generate the entire video of six seconds for me. I'm going to show you how you can do this, but we are going to use a reference video from a really prolific AI video creator. Um, honestly, like if you are interested in AI video generation, you should definitely follow Dave Clark. I mean, Sometimes, you know, it's the difference between somebody who knows stuff, who doesn't know stuff. Like for me, if you give me a tool and then when I create something, it is completely rubbish. But when you give the same tool to Dave, because of Dave's cinematic experience, the outputs are like quite insane, like something like you would expect from a Hollywood director. Follow Dave Clark if you want. So I'm going to use this prompt that Dave used in this particular case to give a reference image. But this is an output from Sora. So we're going to compare this output from Sora and then we're going to compare it with what Halo is going to do with subject reference. This is the prompt. The prompt says a vibrant cinematic portrait of a young woman in a bustling indoor mall. The scene is shot with Canon EOS R5 paired with a lens and uh, creating a creamy bokeh effect that beautifully blurs the background. The focus is razor sharp on the woman, um, the highlighting her radiant complexion, natural makeup and flowing dark hair cascading over her shoulders. The camera is positioned at eye level, creating an intimate and engaging connection with the subject as she gently smiles at the lens. The background softly lit by the mall's warm lighting features people walking and shopping with the details fading into smooth blur. The shot uses a static handheld framing to add a personal organic feel while the light streaming in from skylights above enhances the natural tones in her skin, hair and skin emphasizing the scene's warm and inviting atmosphere. So this image has been created using Flux and what Dave has done is given that image to Sora and then tried to create this image. So this is for consistent image generation. What we are going to do is we're going to give the same image download the image we don't have to generate it using flux thanks to the we have the image we're going to give the same image and then try it with same image we'll just call it same image and try it with halo so the way you can do that is you can just go here and uh, use subject to reference upload your picture so the picture that you want in this case this is the picture the picture should have a portrait that's how you know it can use the subject reference once the picture is uploaded then you have got your character here and with your character here all you have to do is you have to give the prompt the prompt is already pasted here which i copied from dave's tweet and this is the subject reference to video the first model i've got only one try left so i'm going to click try so now if you do this, it is going to take a couple of seconds, but still it is quite insane that you don't have to have like a fine tuning model separately to achieve this. I don't know how many of you know IP adapter. So this is kind of an approach where you don't have to fine tune a model. So without fine tuning, how you put your face into a flux or stable diffusion image is what IP adapter does. So I guess this is a similar kind of an approach, but the good thing is I don't see a lot of frame interpolation, like issues with that. The motion is seamless so the generation is completed the entire generation took about two to three minutes completely so this is the output that we have got this is exactly for which we have got with sora so you can see that it has not followed the prompt very well so if you see the sample comparison with uh, openai sora openai sora is quite 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 insane uh, the 
prompt following or instruction following is amazing. I'm going to put both these videos just back to back for you to check. Here just the focus is primarily on the girl's face or the woman's face in this case. And um, I don't see like a lot of different camera of movement and uh, whatever we have uh, given in the prompt, you know, the 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 shot the camera positioning and all these things i'm not sure like if it follows really well and also the woman looks um uh, quite plastic to be honest um, i mean i can't complain because this is actually generated by flux so maybe a real human might have made some difference but as you can see here it is not really really there but i would say that if you are creating like game characters or if you are using it for commercials like minecraft videos I think this is going to be extremely helpful where you can put your own picture into a video of six seconds without having to wait. This is the latest innovation coming from China. They seem to be really good with video models, but somehow in this particular case, I feel like Sora has really nailed it, but not with Minimax. Let me know what you think. See you in another video. Happy prompting.